in this video it's going to be kind of exciting for you guys because i'm going to bring three new oils that you haven't seen yet fram full synthetic quaker state full synthetic and o'reilly full synthetic then we're going to talk about our top three overall regular oils that we can find at napa order at napa whatever online or at the store then we're going to talk about our top two overall oils that money is not a and money is not a, a boundary you can just buy it because you want the best oil and then we're going to talk about our top four oils overall that have the highest flash point with the best overall cleaning protection and ad pack let's get into it i've got three oils that you guys have been waiting for o'reilly full synthetic quaker state full synthetic and Fram full synthetic and then we're gonna look at my top three regular oils and my top three overall oils these three you haven't seen yet number one is O'Reilly full synthetic with a total base number of 6.6 .6. that is respectable look at the molly in this that's very nice that's higher than liquid molly, molly gen. Boron is good, calcium is good, magnesium is nice, phosphorus and zinc are kind of low, so on these newer low speed pre-ignition prone engines with low tension rings and blah blah blah, this O'Reilly formula would look really good in those engines. So especially an oil burner, this, this right here would look really good. Uh, Quaker State Full Synthetic. You guys have been really waiting on this. It looks a lot like Liquid Molly Molly Gen and uh, like a Royal Purple kind of. Total base number of 6.3. Molly 159. Boron 91. You get this silicon sodium anti foaming agent. That's why the number's there. Calcium. Decent magnesium kind of low. I'd like to see that higher and calcium a little lower, but they are detergent dispersants and Phosphorus and zinc. It's nice It's really nice. I like this. This looks good any of these oils right here between these two look really good especially the O'Reilly one and O'Reilly is made by Omni's specialties. I think they get a bulk oil from somebody like Sitco or Exxon Mobil or whoever makes bulk oil base and then they blend it for O'Reilly and that's a great oil and then we're looking at Fram synthetic here with a total TBN of 5.2 not that great Molly is kind of low um, boron kind of low Calcium is kind of low, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc. These all are very, very low. You might get 3,000 miles out of this oil and have to change this oil and be down closer to a TBN of like two, two and a half, which they say that's when they want you to pull the oil anyway because at that point your uh, acidity protectant just really isn't there as much anymore and then when you get down below too they really want you to change the oil so i, I think this is like a three thousand mile oil yeah maybe a little lower <laughs> um anyway the fram just regular fram full synthetic i don't like the way it looks it doesn't look like it's good it looks like a dollar store oil honestly um so <clears throat> out of these three o'reilly but this is a respectable oil right here. Quaker State Full Synthetic. I really like the way this oil looks as well. It's hard to say between <clears throat> between these two. I like this because it's got a little bit more molly. <clears throat> mm. If I had to look at it to protect an engine against low speed pre-ignition, I probably would pick the O'Reilly because it has less phosphorus and zinc. And... Mm. No, what I meant to say, if I had to pick one of these two on a newer engine, based on low tension uh, piston rings and some oil consumption, 
O'Reilly 5W30 full synthetic and overall it's just a really good looking oil compared to it's, it's probably higher end of the mid-grade oil so this is a really nice oil O'Reilly now if you just want to I just picked three um, this is the Supertech 5W30 regular full synthetic I wanted to show you guys the numbers compared to what we just seen with the O'Reilly the Quaker State and the Fram this has a total TBN of 5.4 Again, kind of like the Fram, not super impressed with the regular Supertech 5W30, but it's sufficient. It, it'll do the job, three, 4,000 miles or so. Molly 74, Boron 213, Calcium 1258, Magnesium 566, Phosphorus and Zinc at 703 and 789, so respectable, but not anything I would run long term, and honestly not very impressed with the Ad Pack. Oh, uh, this is not one I wanted to show right now. Let's throw in Royal Purple HPS inversion analysis. Um, 140 Miley. 99 Boron. Calcium 1224. Magnesium 668. Phosphorus and Zinc. 1142 and 1279 with a total TBN of 6.6. .6. This would be like more for a performance application. Really good looking oil. Overall, there's a lot of ad pack there. There's a lot of detergent. There's a lot of cal or, uh, uh, acidity protection and stuff here. Overall, this is a extremely good looking oil, even though the TBN is not high. Like some of the ones we see, they can go a long time, like 7.1, 7.7. Royal Purple HPS is just downright knock out of the park. A great, 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 great oil. A good performance oil. So I showed you guys the three new oils that came in that you guys were asking for. Uh, that a lot of people were kind of frantic about. They wanted the Quaker State Full Synthetic for some reason. It actually turned out to be pretty good oil. So I understand why now you guys were asking about the Quaker State Full Synthetic so bad. Uh, this is what I would call my more affordable line of oils that are your general 5W30 oils. And I wanted to throw a comparison in here. A lot of people like Mobile One. You guys know I think it's more of a marketing hype than anything. It's actually not that great of an oil. When you look at all the numbers that I've shown you over the years and the thousands of dollars worth of testing, Mobile One consistently always tests to the lowest end of the mediocre portion of the pack, almost to the point where it looks like cheaper oil in general. Um, kind of like that Fram oil that I wasn't very impressed with. It's the same thing. Uh, so this is Mobile here. You can find it at a lot of places. This is their extended performance line, which would be their higher end line, their 20,000 mile formula. It's just very, very low. TBN of 5.8, which is not impressive. Um, all the calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and zinc numbers are okay, but they're actually not that impressive at all. Uh, Molly's okay. Nothing really to brag about, but it's it's just okay. Let's just put it that way. And boron is 73. Not a huge fan of how low these numbers are. But then when you start moving into something like... Let's go to our next one up. This is the highest ad pack that I've seen so far. One of the highest ad packs I've seen so far. And this is from Pennzoil Platinum Ultra. It has a 7.7 7 .7 TBN. We haven't seen one of that, those in a long time. That is a very large ad pack for an oil that can go for many, many miles without wearing out or not having that protection there for you. Molly, not super high here, um, but it's it's okay. 91 but here's where it really shines is the amount of boron that's in it the amount of calcium that's in it they're not super high they're kind of they're nicely balanced so you got good dispersant detergent here um magnesium as well and then you have also a nice not extremely high but not low uh, valve train protectant here phosphorus and zinc 699 and 7, 776 so Pennzoil ultra platinum is one of my top three regular oils that you can either order on the internet or find at the store sometimes. Um, so Pennzoil Ultra Platinum would be number three for me. For regular oils that you can find or have to order through like Napa or Amazon or something like that. Number two would be, it's kind of difficult for me to get to go between these two Valvolines here. This is Valvoline Advanced. It just says Valvoline Synthetic. And this is Valvoline Extended Protection. The Advanced is very, very nice. 
It's got a TBN of 7.1. Zinc and phosphorus. Very nice numbers here. 787 for zinc. 666 for phosphorus. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. Magnesium 480 and calcium 1324. I'd like to see the magnesium numbers a little higher and calcium a little lower. The Molly's through the roof here for a regular oil. Just This is just Valvoline Advanced Synthetic, which is their full synthetic. Wow. 279. That's a pretty high number right there. That's a great oil. And it's affordable. You know, 29 30 bucks, $31. And you're getting a better oil than most high-end you know like race not racing oils but performance oils that is an extremely nice oil and this is the extended protection 6.7 the tbn's a little lower so i'm going to say uh zinc is 840 phosphorus is 702 magnesium is 525 calcium is 1453 boron 124 and molly is 295 you see why I don't like mobile? Because no matter what oil we put up here, mobile looks like the lowest end of all oils on paper that, that we've seen. It's just not a great oil. Um, between these, I'd say Valvoline Advanced, which you can find at almost all Walmarts, all parts stores. Valvoline Advanced would be number one for regular full synthetic oils. The Valvoline Extended Protection would be number two. And the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum would be number three. I like all these. I really like the Ultra Platinum for cleaning and quietening things down. And I really like the, the Valvoline for just really overall extended protection in general. Like an engine that's a little clattery or a little worn or something like that. The Valvoline would be a great application for me. So would the Pennzoil Ultra Platinum. But I really like Pennzoil Ultra Platinum for cleaning things up. Running through an engine. Just trying to keep acidity levels low with vehicles that are really having major problems. Any of these would do that job. Again, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum number, number three. Valvoline Extended Protection number two. Valvoline Advanced number one. And then Mobile One, I, I don't even look at that oil at all. This is the top two oils that I've tried so far. Extremely impressed with these two oils overall. These are the ones where money is not an option, and you're looking to just get the best oil possible that you put in your that you can put in your vehicle. Unfortunately, I don't have a version analysis of the Redline Ester Base 5W30, which is a Grade 5 base. But what I do have is a 5,000 mile oil analysis in my 462 valve town car or no Grand Marquis that I can share with you, and you can see for yourself that it's just knock out of the park. So. The red line is number one. Molly is 415. That's extremely high. Boron is 84. Calcium is 26, uh, 2,611. Magnesium is 322. Phosphorus is 1,115. Zinc is 1,256. Um, the TBN is 4.8. At 5,000 miles for this to still have a TBN of, of 4.8, Red line could have went another 3,000, 4,000 miles before it even had to be looked at again, but I just don't do that with my vehicles. 5,000 miles, this still showed that an amazing ad pack. Red line, red bottle, ester base is by far the best looking oil and best performing oil I've used in an engine. But you are going to pay through the teeth for it. It is expensive, but it is very good. And then Schaefer 9000 Supreme. Schaefer Supreme 9000 with a TBN of 6.3 it's not all about longevity with this oil this is a five or six thousand mile oil it could go longer but I wouldn't recommend going past five with any of these oils but this on paper looks like about a five or six thousand mile oil probably closer to six thousand miles it has Molly of 341 boron 203 1137 on the calcium 481 on magnesium 680 phosphorus and the zinc is 761 that is amazing absolutely amazing the flash point is 425 for the schaefer the flash point for the red line is 420 those are the, the flash point uh those aren't really going to matter because your oil is really not going to get up to that temperature but 
they're nice to know what those are now if we're looking at oils with the highest flash point a lot of people say man i put penzo ultra platinum in my truck and i noticed my oil consumption has went way down well let's look at something that may be different between the other ones most of them are between 420 and 430 435 440 well penzo oil ultra platinum has a flash point of 475 it's the highest out of all the oils that we've tested so far it shows that it's a very strong oil. It's a very great cleaning oil. It's a very stable oil. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of molly, but after you run this three, four, five thousand miles, you're gonna notice the molly really hasn't changed anyway. If there's no need for protection on the metal surfaces, all it really needs is cleaning and lubrication, right? Sometimes it's important, sometimes it's not. I like looking at the numbers because I want to know what I'm paying for. So overall, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum is the highest TBN rating and the safest cleaning. An overall ad pack protection that we've seen on any oil that we've tested on this channel and it's got the highest flash point second to that would be o'reilly synthetic 5w30 it has a flash point of 460 it's got an amazing tbn at 6.6 .6, and it has a very stable higher middle grade uh, ad pack to it after that would be quaker state full synthetic Really good numbers with the flash point at 460. Very nice TBN for, you know, 5,000 mile use oil, 6,000 mile use oil, but probably closer to five. And, you know, ad pack is not, oh my God, you know, this is amazing, but it's like, okay, that's nice. I'm going to keep buying this because it works. And then the Valvoline Synthetic 5W30 Advanced with a TBN of 7.1. Really nice flash point at 450. And the ad pack overall is very, 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 very nice. So... I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys. Please be blessed. Come back for more.